Helene strengthened into a major Category 3 hurricane Thursday as it barreled across the Gulf of Mexico on a path to Florida. The hurricane was about 195 miles southwest of Tampa and had sustained winds of at least 111 miles per hour, according to the U.S. National Hurricane Center. The huge storm center is expected to make landfall in the Big Bend area of Florida's northwestern coast Thursday evening. Hurricane warnings and flash flood warnings extended far beyond the coast up into south-central Georgia. The governors of Florida, Georgia, the Carolinas, and Virginia have all declared emergencies in their states. Video from Florida Department of Transportation traffic cameras in and around Tampa show waves crashing over highways as the cameras are buffeted by the wind. Some intersections in St. Pete Beach along Florida's Gulf Coast were underwater by Thursday afternoon. Hurricane Helene swamped parts of Mexico on Wednesday as it churned on a path forecasters said would take it to Florida as a potentially catastrophic storm with a surge that could swallow entire homes, a chilling warning that sent residents scrambling for higher ground, closed schools, and led to states of emergency throughout the southeast. Helene Center was about 430 miles southwest of Tampa, Florida, the U.S. National Hurricane Center said and the hurricane was expected to intensify and accelerate as it crosses the Gulf of Mexico toward the Big Bend area of Florida's northwestern coast. Landfall was expected sometime Thursday evening, and the hurricane center said by then it could be a major category for storm with winds above 129 miles per hour. Tropical storm conditions were expected in southern Florida Wednesday night, spreading northward and encompassing the rest of Florida as well as Georgia and South Carolina through Thursday night. The storm was moving north at 12 miles per hour with top sustained winds of 85 miles per hour Wednesday evening. Helene could create a life-threatening storm surge as high as 20 feet in parts of the Big Bend region, forecasters said. Its tropical storm force winds extended as far as 345 miles from its center. The fast-moving storm's wind and rain also could penetrate far inland. The hurricane center posted hurricane warnings well into Georgia and tropical storm warnings as far north as North Carolina, and it warned that much of the southeast could experience prolonged power outages, toppled trees and dangerous flooding. Carabel, Florida resident Kenneth Griswold is taking note of the hurricane's size and power. This one here's got me a little bit more nervous than the others, I mean, for the extent of how wide and vast it is. I mean, it's not a little small storm like the others we've had here recently, he said. Northwest Florida residents could be seen buying emergency supplies at a Lowe's home improvement store in Live Oak. One shopper, Philip Lambert, said it's becoming a familiar routine. It's like a bad dream. Over and over. As soon as you get cleaned up from one storm, six months later you get hit again or eight months later you get hit again. So it's constantly picking up tree limbs, he said. Lowe's manager Alvaro Otero said the repeated storms that have pounded a region can take an emotional toll. They went through this not that long ago, just a couple of months ago, and then last year. Some of these families just rebuild what they lost and now being in here, maybe lose it all over again, he said.
This one here's got me a little bit more nervous than the others. I mean, for the extent of how wide and vast it is. I mean, it's not a little small storm like the others we've had here recently. It's like, it's like a bad dream over and over. It's like as soon as you get cleaned up for one storm, six months later you're getting hit again, or eight months later you're getting hit again. So it's constantly picking up tree limbs and just, it's stressful, but you know, as long as the insurance rates don't keep going up, I'll be all right. Huh? You just gotta survive, push through it. Just talking to our regulars, right? People we see here every day, um, you kind of feel for them. I mean, it's our community, but having them, you know, they went through this, not that long ago, just a couple months ago, and then last year, um, maybe a little overwhelmed. You know, some of these families just rebuild what they lost and now being in fear of maybe losing it all over again, right? So it, it can be an overwhelming feeling for a lot of them. 